Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Garage Studio Modelers. Uh, today we have a special guest, Sandy McCroy. Thank you, Dave. Welcome Sandy, nice Thank to you. have you here. Thank you for inviting me, mm -hmm. a pleasure to be here. And uh, in today's, a little bit different, uh, we're going to talk specifically about Panzer Grey. And we have uh, a number of models uh, that Harvey, uh, Sandy and I have, uh, have built over the last uh, few years or so that uh, are all have Panzer Grey on them. Um, and we wanted to talk about what we do, the, the techniques that we use, uh, the types of paints, the types of colors, uh, we'll, we'll talk about historical uh, photos and, and what people can interpret from those, um, and just have an open discussion uh, on, on modulating and, and how to work with uh, a single color camouflage, because that can be a little bit challenging for, uh, for some modelers. Um, but yeah, we'll start off. So I've got a couple of uh, models here. I've got my, my stuck. So this we did, actually, there's a bunch of episodes. This is one of the ones that we did on the channel here back uh, at Dave's store. And then I've got a little Flyhawk model here. Um, Harvey, I believe that's yours. Mm -hmm. That's a Bowmeg 7. We'll talk about that a little later. Nicely done. And then Sandy, the rest of them are uh, from your collection. That's an old Geschutz wagon, which is a basically a conversion. Another Stug with a winter camouflage. Very nice. A 2 3 armor car with a, that's a, that's a Italieri kit, which I've added a few which, things which to. Which you never see built. No. You <laughs> never see those things built. It's, ever. it's, it's just it's a nice vehicle. It uh, shows its age a little bit, but you, 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 you got the extra edge. parts to it. I got the photo edge, yeah. I got the wheels, etc. Yeah. Yeah, the wheels, uh, the wheels uh, Very nice. And it's, it came out quite. This is uh, another kit which I. What's this? This is the Nubert. It's a, the uh, German. Nubert Fahrzeug? Yeah, exactly. I built this a few right. years ago. Um, oh, German. And uh, they're all Panzer yeah. Grey. I use um, just yeah. basically Tamiya Panzer Grey. Well, we'll talk about okay. that. Yeah. Yeah, and then we've got at the end there, we've got the Panzer 38T. So that's going to be the next subject that I'm going to work on once we finish off the BT7, and that will be. Uh, of course, a, a Panzer Grey topic. Yeah. Uh, now we we were talking earlier, Dave, that uh, why did we choose Panzer Grey? We could talk about Japanese zero colors, that, but uh, we found right in our discussion that there was a lot of debate. Yes. Over, over Panzer Grey. Panzer Grey was it dark grey? There was no blue in it, right? I I came across a website just before the session uh, on fine scale and hyperscale where where there's a lot of healthy debate, right, about what was the true color. So we thought, well, you know what? If we're gonna try a subject color, let's take one that's well, a bit controversial. Yeah, right? I mean, it, it, the the Panzer Grey was its proper name is Rao Eight. Four zero R seven zero two, and the Germans oh. had a had a Rao system. Sandy came prepared. <laughs> yeah, can the, repeat that number because I I missed it. Uh, Rao eight four zero R seven zero two, and the Germans had a Rao system. The British had the uh, FCC system. The Americans had the seven five nine. Is it? FS, uh, yeah, FS, standard, FS yeah, yeah. 795. For, so each country had its own system, and when the, when the manufacturers uh, made a vehicle, they would have this this, this paint scheme, uh, this paint uh, color, which they would have, we'd paint the vehicles to, based on the uh, the information given to them by the uh, the the, um, the, the, uh, the German government or the British government or the American government. So. There is a standard, so. But it's but there's I, I think there's one thing that's common to like your your olive drabs, your four bo greens, uh, your Panzer greys, yeah. your your Panzer yellows. Is that there's always a bit of an interpretation in terms. Well, of the exactly. Shape. The olive, factories and, would be different slightly. Yeah, and, and I think there was a lot of variation, particularly with the olive green and the four bo. The Russian yeah, four bo. Yeah. There was a lot of variation. Oh, olive drab, for example, is is this yeah. always yeah. kind of yeah. talk about what was actually olive drab? And olive drab did change during yeah. this, this time. Absolutely. Yeah, and 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 then you factor in the the natural effects of sun oh, and gosh, weathering yeah. Yeah. and yeah. dust. So if you look at color photos. Yes, you know, yeah. and, and there's always you know is it is it a true color photo? Is it colorized? Re after retouched the afterwards, yeah. Um, when you look at Panzer Grey vehicles, they seem awfully dark. Like yeah, in, they, in the photos, in, in the yeah. photos, in the right? Photos, and, yeah. and if you and if you kind of if you put that, I find it. So this is all personal opinion, of course. But I find if you if you if you adopt that approach and you put that on a vehicle, it's going to look like a toy. Exactly, yeah. like a brick. Right. Yeah. So I think um, you know, and, and there was a comment uh, on on episode six of the of the BT seven about um, you know. It looks yeah the modulation looks good but does does a real vehicle look like that yeah um yeah. and that's that's a debate you know we, well that's we kind of artistic license really, it is well it? for sure and it's an art form at yeah. the end of the yeah. day this yeah. is this is an art form but what's you know what's the difference with with uh accentuating mm -hmm. panel lines on aircraft right i mean yeah it's to draw it's, it's, it's to draw right. the yeah. eye's attention to yeah. something and to provide an illusion of depth i had i had uh, one fellow in the club who who actually sanded off all of the panel lines on the, there were there were none and he just painted it and said, this is the way aircraft should look. It looked great, but I don't know, it, was, it just seemed to be missing something as an art form. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah it's, I think know, it's a the, debate. It's yeah. a debate. I mean, in the olden days, you just painted your model one color, and that was it. And then you've, you know, it, things have evolved since then. And uh, 
But I think we would all agree if you look at the models today, and no, you know, the, the models yeah. from the seventies. Oh the gosh, 80s, yeah. Even I mean, the, yeah. yeah, I mean, the, the realism yeah. is is and the same thing with figures as well. You look at the figures yeah. from the seventies compared to the figures today, and everything's getting better yeah. as time yeah. goes on. And you're right. You, you want to draw it's like your politics. <laughs> Well, we won't go there. We won't talk about yeah, exactly. that. But, but even if you look at a modern vehicle, we, uh, there's, a, there's a couple of those no t new Tap V uh, Canadian uh, vehicles, uh, uh, recce vehicles now out. And when you look at them up close, they're brand new. And, and the colors are slightly different from one vehicle. Yeah. There, there's yeah. very hard standards. Yeah. To, to well, I, rem I, I remember the, one of the Shermans sitting outside the armory on Dufferin, and it was painted um, all of drab. And then about four or five years later, even with modern paint, that paint had changed completely. Yes. It was much lighter. It got to almost a pea green. So, another, <clears throat> another thing is, uh, which I find a bit unusual, some of you see these vehicles like in Berlin 1945, they're all chipped. Tanks didn't last, they lasted yeah. a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. They were Most painted, them, yeah. they were painted, yeah. but that's still, you know, you want to make Chip, some... Chipping will be a topic. Uh, yeah. a topic. Yeah. 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 That you, yeah. We can go down that rabbit hole. But um, yeah. in reality, the, 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 most of them didn't last that long. It lasted a few weeks or a few months if they were lucky. Not too many vehicles made it more than a year. Well, I mean, getting back to the Panzer Grey, the ones that, that were fighting in Dunkirk, right? They were Panzer Grey then. Yeah. Um, but a lot of those vehicles didn't continue service till, I mean, they were already out of date, weren't they? Like those light vehicles? They didn't yeah. make it all the way to Normandy. Oh, gosh, no, no, they, no they didn't. They, 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 they no, no. out or they'd be decommissioned. They, they yeah. decommissioned. Or training battalions. Yeah, but or? they were brand new at that time, weren't they, Sandy? Well, they, they were. Relatively? Well, right? yeah. They, they so were, you would have a lot of chipping even then. And, even, and it also, you got to remember that. Uh, uh, a military vehicle yeah. is a significant investment in money. <coughs> You're not going to let it rust away. Yeah. You know, especially the modern vehicles. If you, if you have a modern vehicle, uh, they tend to be well maintained because they're a million dollar vehicle. You yeah, know, you'll see it. you'll see a lot of mud on a yeah. vehicle, but you, you don't see a lot of chipping. And and if you look like you might see it around the skirt. I mean, we're kind of getting into a different topic. Yeah. Here, but you'll see it on, on places where the vehicle will make contact with the ground or right. trees or whatnot, and branches scratch. But chipping, chipping, it's you know, it's it's hard. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you see a lot of junkyards, but they're junkyards. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, yeah. yeah, and uh, to say, mo you know, uh, the most modern <coughs> tanks now, vehicles are multi-million dollar vehicles, yeah. and you're not going to let it get chipped and rusted. You're going to have to keep maintain but, that. But let's try. So I just I just noticed this. So if you if you look at the scissor binoculars here, yeah, you know, maybe that's something that could that, yes. that gets chipped, yes. right? Because yes. it's used it's yeah. in and out of the vehicle a lot. So yes. I mean, I think some chipping on a vehicle looks good, yeah. yeah. But it has to be. Then my again, this it has is to all be personal in, in opinion. context. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, this is all personal opinion, and, and if yeah. you like chipping your vehicles, then I do. I do have a German uh, first aid kit that was in a yes, tank. Yes, I've that. Yeah. And that's got chipping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you can yeah. see underneath the, yeah. the, the red primer, even on a first aid box. Yeah. But yeah. But, but back to the topic with pairs of gray, we picked this one, and you know, we'll do other topics, right? We could do well, all drab. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, we, I mean, we picked this one band. because we're going to be doing yeah. the, the Panzer 38T, but right. I think it's, you know, we'll, and maybe the next vehicle is an olive drab, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you know, we kind of we kind of skipped 4 bo green, and certainly the interpretation yeah. that I did on the on the BT-7, yeah. you know, some might find, well, it's awfully bright, but again, it's artistic license. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let's talk a little bit about... about the grays, yeah. Yeah. So, and, how, yeah. so Sandy, what, what's your typical approach well, to doing I, I, You talk about Tamiya paints. I like Tamiya paints. I've tried the lacquer paints, but unfortunately, I find them very smelly. So I tend to use, for Panzer Grey, I use the, the German uh, XF-63, which is your basic Panzer Grey. What I do is, I... My, when I do the vehicle, first of all, I usually uh, prime it with the uh, with the black primer, which is a uh, Mr. Surfacer 1500, mm. cut with uh, leveling fluid. And that gives you a nice black base. Do you, oh, do you always use black, Sandy? Do you, do I, you ever I do, use white? I do, depending on the color. If I'm using a, a vehicle which is not uh, is a green or a sand color vehicle, I will use a gray, okay. a neutral gray. Right. Uh, especially when you're using it, when you're building a vehicle, when you've got photo etch, you've got resin, it ties everything together, right? So I'll give it a complete cut, uh, coat of that. Now for this one, or the, these ones, the, the three here, four here actually, uh, first thing I do, I spray it with uh, a mixture of uh, the XF63, which is the Panzer Grey, and cut it with the XF2, the white. So basically it's, it's a lighter color. I spray that on, and then I go over the edges with the darker. So, that, so that's right on the black, Sandy? Yeah, on top of the black, yeah. So you do so you, you you have a 50-50 mix of XF63 and XF2? Yeah, yeah. The Panzer Grey and the white. Yeah, okay. on top of the, of the black Are, are you letting the some of the black show through? Or are you A little bit, but not an awful lot. Okay. Then that, <clears throat> once that's... Given a uniform coat of that, then I go over the edges with the uh, with the just the basic XF63. It darkens it down, leaving the center panels lighter. Then what I'll do, I'll go back and forth to blend it all in. 
So I get, uh, you know, the modulation that way. Some people do it the other way. They... So you're using basically two colors. Yes, yeah, 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 but, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, two colors. Oh. And then after that, now we start on working on the on the washes and then on the um, um, pastels and the, you know, the usual yeah. how we yeah. do it. Yeah. But that's a basic set is on this one. This vehicle <clears throat> had another coat of uh, hairspray. Then we put the white on right. and then we chipped the white off to give it the... Um, Winter scheme. These ones didn't. <clears throat> They're just basically the light grey, dark grey on top, and then modulate it together, and then back and forth. And afterwards, then we go over it with the oils, uh, dot matrices, right. and stuff. Did, did you use your your formula on all? Four? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 right. yeah. Pretty well, I use that. Mm. And I use the same thing if I'm doing a, a green beer. Call. I'll do the same thing. I'll take the green. I'll lighten it. Put the light color down first of all. Then the dark color on top. Then modulate back and forth. Okay. Cool. Okay. I mean, some people do it the opposite way. They put the the dark color on and put light color on top. So it's just a way, whichever way you get used to doing it. Well, yeah, sometimes yeah. I go <coughs> back and forth. Yeah. So it's not just a one, two, three step, right? So, so talk about your 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 basic. Yeah, <laughs> this is um, it's a Vomag Seven Roll, by Vomag, by, by uh, uh, Roden. It's uh, so it's a shout out. I know you've got your little guy there. Shout out to us Braille scale modelers, um, and that is if you. It's kind of hard to tell, but it is Panzer Gray. Uh, but there's green camouflage on it. But um, I do. I, I kind of follow what Sandy does. Now, now here's a little bit of a difference on this guy. I actually started with white, and then I started with black in all the crevices. It's a little bit of so hard like work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah, it's appreciated. Yeah, it's appreciated. Some people do that. Yeah, I've tried it on that one. Past, yeah. I, I figured maybe it's better to have white and then darken the crevices because it's braille, and then I sprayed on the gray. Now the gray I used is not to me a. Uh, I didn't use XF, what is it, 13? And the XF is uh, 63. 63, 63 is I didn't, the Panzer Grey. I, I didn't use XF 63. I mixed my own. I took um, a, basically a couple of greys that I kind of wiped out of my Gunzi line. But I wasn't after a dark grey. I was after a bluish mm -hmm. dark grey. And so I took, to me, a pure blue. And I added it. Okay. To I think it was oh, one of the uh, some, some sky greys. Right. Some purists are going to be some after you. going to kill that's, me. That's... And then I added black to it. See, yeah. so I I added those three together, and then I just I wanted a blue hue to it. Now I noticed that there's a lot of debate guys on the web. Well, there wasn't any blue in it. Was there blue in it? I don't. Do we know, Sandy, if they said there was blue in it? Well, I mean, we we have this book here, which is the AK book, which gives you the the color uh, chips. How accurate is it? I really don't know, to be honest, because I find a few problems with it already. But um, well, you know, let's look at the chips here. There's I don't know. Chip. It's hard to. Yeah. See on the camera. No, it's oh, a German, the German, German one's in there. Oh, the German one's in there. Yeah. Okay. So I, I added a little bit of blue to it. Yeah. But then when I had that base color, I then simply added white to it to keep lightening up and yeah. post shade and build it up. And then I put the camouflage on after all of the modulation. Um, and if you could see up close, when you look at mine compared to the other guys, here's the last point I want to make. I find in Braille scale, I like to keep the colors even lighter. Well, there is a right? there is the there scale, is a scale effect, right? Yes. Yeah. So I can see a my gray is much, much, much lighter than Sandy's yeah. and Dave's uh, Stug. Yeah. And that's because I think in, in, in a smaller scale, uh, we kind of like to lighten things up a little bit more. I think that, yeah. Uh, so in summary, that's that's basically how I ended up with that with that gray. And just a quick interesting story: when I brought that to the IPMS Nationals. Um, those of you who know Jim Mesco, hey Jim, I hope you're watching. Uh, he he came up to me with a straight face and he said the uh, uh, <laughs> the judges uh, uh, d didn't really like it because the gray was off uh, <laughs> as a joke. Uh, and and he was joking. He was okay. completely but, joking. But yeah, he but said you but, didn't but, place. But, yeah, but that's not the first time I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Model, yeah. Know, I think his serious. joke was yeah, yeah. on purpose yeah. that way. But he was joking, of yeah. course. Yeah. But I, that's basically the, how I approach the Braille and that Vogue Bank Seven. I think this. So much, uh, yeah. with, with with color, there's so many differences, so many variations. You know, I, I, I don't think you can make a Panzer Grey, which has just been painted on a vehicle, six months later, especially in, in right, the, right, uh, the North right. Africa, where right. they got very very bright. You know, it's going to fade. Step or, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, you know, <coughs> I don't get too. Uh, you know, well, that's caught up with this. Yeah, exactly. So there's always you always got to take into yeah. account weather, yeah. Yeah. dust, yeah, the sun, exactly. the bleaching dust. of the color. Exactly. Right? But have exactly. you? Here's the other controversy. Have you guys ever had a contest where a judge has ranked a model lower because they thought the color was off? Not that I'm aware of. No, no, that doesn't no, happen. No, I've no. heard of that. Yeah. I've heard of it. I've heard of it happening. Right. Yeah. 
that they, they, again, what, what's his interpretation of Times of Grey or Double right, Glade? Right, but judging us, I mean, that's another topic yeah. we could spend on. I'm, I'm looking time. at all of these, and I think they're great. I mean, you look at them as a collection. I mean, that's, that. okay, that's Panzer Grey, right? Yeah. I mean, Panzer Grey was it up to 1942, and after that they switched to Dunkel Gleb, right? Did so they did they use any Panzer Grey at the end of the world? No. Berlin, like no. Berlin? well, well they, they, they might have. They might have. Uh, there's rumors of them dipping into stocks because, because they, they run out of paint, paint, right? Yeah. yeah. So like, there's rumors and, of a yeah. Panzer Grey Panther and you know, and also, I mean, this, when soldiers when they're fighting a the, uh, battle, the last thing they worry about is the right color of the yeah, tank. They, yeah, if they get yeah. fight yeah. some paint, they paint it, right? Yeah. So you know, they're not thinking, oh, hang on, in fifty years' time, someone's going to be painting this model. So what color should I paint it? You know, they're worried about survival. So do, 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 that, that reminds me of a story I heard yeah. where where there was a. One of the model shows in the U.S. I don't know if it was Panzerfest or what it was, but yeah. there was a no, there was a German tank. It, it was Amps. It was Amps. Was it Amps? It was Amps. Sure. And I wasn't there, but I heard this. Yeah, I was. I was there. You were I, there. I was there. And uh, so apparently, somebody got up and asked this this tanker. Yes. Um, you know, hey, what what you know what what color was yeah. your was your tank? Like, what yeah. was it? Was yeah. it an early that's, yellow that's or right. yellow? That's right. And he said, I don't know. I was I just trying to survive. Survive. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they don't care. That's exactly what he said it with humor too. Yeah. Oh, I asked my dad once. I said, you know, that what color were the German tanks in Italy. My dad was in Italy in the 8th Army and he goes, oh, I don't know, they were kind of brown. Yeah, I don't know. We were just it, shooting pe at them. People weren't worried about them. No. You know, they weren't thinking, hang on, what? They weren't looking at it through a model. Yeah, exactly. Line, so sure. it's, uh, and I don't know, I mean, every every vehicle was different and the, the weather different and, uh, you know, especially in, in if I digress here a bit, in North Africa, because what color were, they, were the contour scheme? Well, whatever paint they found. I mean, yeah. there's, there's so many variations and and was was bright blue one of them? Yeah, bright blue. You know, oh, uh, yeah, and they use uh, did they use uh, did they use RAF uh, paints from the store? Did they, nobody no really knows? And maybe one day somebody will find out. But so it sounds like all I have to say is that it's really it's really hard to have a definitive yeah, exactly. shade of a particular right, color. Yeah, so just go right. just go with whatever looks right to you. Yeah, and I know early on I used to obsess about getting the right colors and all that. Now I don't. You know, I, I like no. I, I like the fact that there's a different approaches. Like so, Sandy uses the gray. He uses the Panzer gray, and then he lightens it with the white, and then yeah. he just works it through. So he just has yeah. those two color ranges yeah. where he goes in. You talked about incorporating blue onto yours. So when I when I did these two models, I use so I use the lacquer paints. They yeah. stink. Oh, they yeah, are. That's I, I like the color, but, yeah. but this is the same. I mean, this this Panzer Grey is the same color you would get in. Yeah, the sixty three. Oh, is that, is that the sixty three? Eh? Well, is this is like LP twenty seven. Yeah. It looks close though. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's yeah. the same color. But what I do is I actually so I I like the blue. So I have these ghost gray colors, which are kind of gray blue colors. And I and that's what I use to lighten up. So I'll start with a black. Mm -hmm. So I do the same thing you do. Saying yeah. I'll, I'll prime it black, and that's exactly yeah. what I do with the Panzer 38T. And then I'll I'll do a Panzer gray, and then I'll lighten with the ghost gray colors and and, and work it up. And you can kind of see that to get effect on, on both of these, right? So yeah. so I like to incorporate just a hint of blue because it just it just it's a personal preference. Just to me, it looks pleasing to the eye. Yeah. However, when I do uh, so, I've got this. Uh, Mr. Color Modulation Set. So again, you you have different, you know, the, the world's your oyster in terms of, of well, there's tools. So many, there's so many paints these And days. the convenience available yeah. out there. So I've got this Mr. Color Set, um, and I'm gonna, so it, these are more traditional grays, like there's a dark gray, you know, it kind of works your way up. So I'll, I'll try this and see what this looks like yeah. on, on the new vehicle. And, yeah. mm. um, you know, Dave, is that a four color? Range? That's a four color. That's yeah. a four color range. Yeah. 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 Okay. I very rarely use the paint out of the bottle. I I never throw a Timmy a bottle away because I always mix my own shades. Yeah. yeah that's and right. uh, that's right. and I I just find that Timmy a paint, especially if using the Gunzi uh, leveling, it just goes on just just beautifully. Well, and there's all kinds that like you can get. AK has a range of, and, and you can get color sets that have yeah. like six different colors. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, Vallejo has a range, so there's anything whatever, goes. Yeah, well. anything yeah, goes. You, whatever you whatever you're comfortable with. You but know, yeah, as, yeah, we'll as, try as, this. We'll try this on the. As I look at all these too. models, if I was to move mm -hmm. away from this table and look from afar, and this was in a diorama, it would work. They're all they're all pans are great, yeah. right? Yeah. They, yeah. In fact, yeah, I think it one was of better. That, yeah, there's one variation. of them that sticks out. That's a lot stuff. Well, this, not the stock for the yeah, so white wash the stock, but. Um, well, in terms of the pan, the tone of the Panzer Grey, it all fits. So yeah, so I think yeah, yeah. there you have it on on Panzer Grey. Yeah, I think um, so. We'll do more in the future. I, I mean, stay tuned. I'd like to do one on Japanese colors. I, I, I could like to I do. could do one on British uh, colors. Like everybody talks about the contour scheme. Actually, British tanks, especially in North Africa and in Sicily and Italy, were were quite colorful. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. So if, there, if there's anything that uh, you know you would want to see, uh, yep. you know, throw in the comments of, of this video, and and we'll work to yeah. uh, we'll, you know, we'll work to get something going for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, right? Pans are great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. So yeah, thanks, for, thanks for inviting me over. I enjoyed oh, it. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the uh, thanks for the discussion. See you next time, everybody. Thank you. Bye.